Okay, what I'm going to show you now is how I assemble the uh, bottom uh, cabinet for this built-in. So I got the uh, couple of pieces here. I have the uh, bottom cleat that's going to hold the uh, bottom piece. I put the uh, domino slots in here and also some pocket hole screws. So what I do is I just usually just screw a little bit of glue here. Now when you attach a bottom of the cabinet, there's several ways you can do it. You can run a dado across here, uh, you know, different ways. I just prefer to cut a piece that gives me an exact, so that way I just line it up. Sometimes people will cut a small piece, then you got to measure. This way I just measure up the where I want the bottom at. Take this piece here. Now, you can nail it off, nail gun. I just prefer to throw a couple of uh, McFeely's one and three eighths inch sawtooth screws in here. And I put them in at an angle because you don't want them protruding through the plywood because most plywood nowadays is a little bit shy of three quarters. So I usually put four. here and on the bottom I also put the domino slots so I will move this out here the clamp to hold this down get out my rubber mallet in here a little bit. I like to just wipe it into glue a little bit. You don't want to put too much, that much glue in the hole because these dominoes are so snug that uh, if you blow it out the back, they won't fit in. They're, they fit so tight that just a little bit of glue in there is going to hold them excellently. All right. Now let's put a little tighter. All right, now I grab the piece. Just set it on here, line it up, goes in just like that, there we go. Now, let me grab a couple of uh, pocket hole uh, screws here, just a minute. Alrighty. Now these are one and a quarter inch coarse pocket hole screws from the Craig company. Obviously named after me. No, not really. But uh, I like to think so. And I just ream a couple of pocket hole screws in there. Now this cabinet is going to be put in between two walls. Uh, so none of this is going to show. So you can also run some screws through here if you want. But if the cabin was to show, obviously you're not going to do that. So I'm showing you what I do with the pocket hole screws. So that's this side here. Let's flip this around. Now normally. with me, but uh, that's one thing nice about the table and the clamps is uh, you can do a lot of this stuff by yourself. All right, let's get the uh, piece here, get a couple more dominoes, 
add the glue. Again, butter them up a little bit. push it away just a little bit, you didn't have it clamped up or your reaming screws in this way, it'll, the bottom may not be real tight, so this way it helps snug up the whole thing and makes it a real nice strong cabinet. see I got the two cabinets here so what I'm going to do now, now I also will add a middle piece in there for extra support so it doesn't sag 